Dutch people view themselves. G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. I'm coming to you all the way from Brisbane, Australia. Guys, I'm so sorry. It's been a while. It's 2024. I'm back and I'm so excited to get back into the Netherlands channel, learn more about your awesome country. So let's get back into it with this little video that I found on YouTube. Dutch people view themselves. Let's go. Hey, Peter J. How you going, mate? Hi, my name is Jaffa, and when you think of the Dutch, what do you think? Tall Europeans that just ride bikes with joints in each hand. The city where you'll get so stoned that you go Dutch on your own meal. But these could just be stereotypes. So why don't we leave it up to the Dutch to describe the people that they know best? Yes! Tourists. I mean, the Dutch. So how did the Dutch view themselves as a people? Like, so if the Dutch had to describe other Dutch people. Well, I think blunt and really loud also, but in a different kind different way i think yes. they're like kind of i don't know like i don't know how you say that like they're like kind of lump you say lump um lump. i don't know <laughs> what's they're a like lump? not that elegant lump. they're just a little bit sloppy oh sloppy. sloppy yes okay <laughs> well, in regards to what like sloppy like like when you meet them when you meet american they're like oh nice to meet you when you meet a a Dutch person, they're like, hi, I'm the, the and that's it. It's not like, oh, nice to meet you or anything. It's just, hi, this is my name. And so you don't they have don't to seem that open to meet other people. Yeah. Yes, I really think so. Yes, for us, because we're so calm. calm. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. oh, love to meet you. I love oh. you. Bye. <laughs> like that kind of thing. It's like you see on, in Netherlands, we don't do that type mm -hmm. of things. We okay. just just keep it calm and just on a distance <laughs> <laughs> but in america it comes really close to you i think the dutch people view them okay i definitely get that oh my gosh some people can be really out there really happy really poppy mate it's a lot of work sometimes when you're meeting new people isn't it so i like that dutch are all nice and calm and they don't want to go out for dinner and do all this stuff it's just you're nice and calm, you're laid back, and that's how you like it. Mate, that's fair income like us here in Australia. Sure, we'll shake your hand and say, how's it going, mate? But we're not going to say, oh, it's so happy to meet you. Oh, I love this. I love this. No, nah, mate, that's too much work. <laughs> All right, this is a cool video. Let's keep on going. I'm so glad to be back getting into the Netherlands channel. Let's keep on going self as a people we obviously have the stereotypes as well with the weed and the cheese and the wooden shoes but i think uh we, we're really <laughs> the judging shoes. i think we can be quite judging uh, okay. that's that's i think that's a stereotype we're really down to earth people we're really mm -hmm. blunt as well uh, i think most of the dutch people are really uh, out there if there is something they don't like they will tell you right away uh, what they don't like i like no, that i don't like no, this weed no, a bit but, but, but same in a conversation for example i find it really rude or i don't like you or the, the, we we're really uh, 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 direct people. Yeah. So, uh, how, how did the Dutch people view themselves as a people? In my case, I can say about the opposite uh, of what I just told you about the Americans. We are, we think we are very social. Uh, yeah. We have we have like the, I don't know here the, the polar model. Have you heard of it? It's, it's no. because it's it's a small country with a lot of people in it or on a on a small area of land. Uh -huh. yes. We have to uh, 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 yeah we have to seek uh, compromises everywhere. Uh -huh. Because uh, yeah, you cannot do what you want because then there's always one someone who wants it a little bit different, and then you have to seek for the compromise. Okay, I'm just gonna pause it for a second. I'm loving seeing all these bikes, but oh my gosh, it's like unorganized chaos. There are bikes just parked everywhere. One of these bikes, the wheel is just hanging on the side of the road. You still see cars trying to navigate around the bikes, but <laughs> the bikes are just everywhere. Oh my gosh, I love the riding of the bikes. The roads, they do look very narrow. Are there many one-way streets? I'm guessing they would be, but my gosh, the roads do look very narrow. Is that set up for more biking to encourage the cars to stay out? In the comments, let me know. And the directness. I love the directness. I have no problem with that. I don't like being messed about. I want to know what's happening right here, right now. I don't like playing my games. I don't have time for it, eh? So, yeah, I'm happy with you guys being direct. That's the one thing I think is really, really cool. As for the stereotypes, the wooden shoes, you guys don't walk around in clogs. 
That's just ridiculous. Our stereotypes that we walk around in thongs, well, mate, we walk around in thongs all the time. That's not a stereotype. That's just something that we're proud to do. Even when it's cold in winter, mate, we're still going to wear our pluggers, and that's just how it goes. Uh, that's, that's not one issue. That's uh, basically everything in, in, in Holland, is, uh, in the Netherlands, goes like that. M most of us are quite proud or getting more proud huh. nowadays because uh, we haven't really been that proud uh, in, in previous decennia. For example, Why? we uh, on school we learn like three different languages just on high school and That's on elementary cool, man. school. On the other hand, uh, other languages don't really get any Dutch culture or language no. with them. So I no think way. most of the Dutch uh, can be quite proud, yeah. uh, proud people. We find ourselves really smart. Not that we are, but I think a lot of Dutch <laughs> compare themselves more smart than We're not people. smart. <laughs> why, why is that? Yeah, I, th I think I'm. I'm not sure why it is. I think because we compare our uh, educational system uh, uh, with other people. I think it's because yeah, most of the social media about other countries is really why we shouldn't like him or so yeah. why something's wrong. Why we are. Uh, uh, yeah, quite there's good. nothing bad to say about Amsterdam, no. really. But how, no. how about the Dutch? So like, how how do the Dutch people view themselves as a people? Like down to earth, you know. Down the to Dutch earth. People they find themselves yeah. like down to earth. We see ourselves kind of as a free country everything's well organized super yeah. organized okay and you know you're allowed to smoke weed and, yes and you so are that's, that's a <laughs> kind of privilege we're, uh, we're proud of you know yeah, be yeah proud, they're, mate. they're not as 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 narrow-minded as some countries mm -hmm. that they you know forbid everything and yeah. so it's it's kind of open openish yeah right cultural yeah so it's kind of like the vegas of europe right people come <laughs> here for the weekend and get crazy oh in amsterdam for sure man yeah, amsterdam. Yeah, in amsterdam they, they come here they get stoned they get drunk they yeah they, they come here to get fucked up and oh! yeah so this is like you know what happens in amsterdam stays in amsterdam yes right? for sure right, right. That's yeah oh. they are rude what happens in Amsterdam stays in Amsterdam. Is that like a bike bumper sticker or is that on a t-shirt? Or is that what it reads when you land at the airport in Amsterdam? What happens in Amsterdam stays in Amsterdam. Oh my gosh, the stereotypes about the weed. Yes, you can smoke weed in the Netherlands. That is really, really cool. Man, be proud of that. In Australia, it varies from state to state. And really, it's just an absolute mess. Medicinal marijuana is barely legal in the state that I live in. And to get through it, you have to get licenses and blah, 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 blah. Mate, it's really, really hard work. So, yeah, mate, be proud of that freedom because it is pretty cool. All right. From what I have seen, too, you guys are pretty good looking as well. Just like us Aussies, eh? You're good looking. You're laid back. You're casual, you've got that directness, but mate, at least you know what's going on and you're not messing anybody about, and I like that. They are, they are not able to flirt. <laughs> they are not ah. able to date. They are also not a, that uh, libertine as they... As they say. No, 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 no. Okay. But why is that? Because they have a judgment uh, that is this Calvinistic um, stamp in them, uh -huh. which oh. is judgmental uh, to what is different, to what is not common, to what is coming, rising up from the average, so that they have an opinion about. How okay. do the Dutch people view themselves as a people? Stingy. Uh, the fact that you don't really stingy. want to st stick your head out. Um, yeah. You don't want to be above average or like excel in yeah. something because like we like average, we like normal, we like... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I think... Um, you don't like hard I, I, work. Yeah, the irony is that called embarrassment of riches. Uh -huh. And I think that's exactly what... Um, uh, distinguishes Dutch culture from the yeah. rest of Europe, from okay. Germany and from France. When you drive on the ra on the wrong side with a bike, they would say you are not doing the right stuff. Uh. Uh, even when you are biking, they say, "Okay, sorry, you know, <laughs> I made a mistake." <laughs> so they are open, yes, yeah, still a certain level. Mm -hmm. uh, they are not really helpful, I think. To uh, oh, okay, again, they, they welcome you, but you have to do it on your own. It's pretty individualistic as a country if you compare All it right. to Mediterranean country or like South America. Okay, that's, that's a big difference. I think most of the Dutch people, and I'm, I'm talking about the, the 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 bigger part of Holland, 
are really blind to those things. Holland is really ah, good. Okay. Uh, Amsterdam is our uh, capital city, and uh, yeah, they're, 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 for example, they're really trying to work out the image we they have. Quite a lot of investments going to get Amsterdam sort of proper again with all the cover with the Looks seven coffee cool shops in this street, for example. We I already like have seven in this street. So how did the Dutch <laughs> people view themselves? Do you guys think that you're very rough against each other? Do you guys think that you're very cold to each other and that you're not friendly to each other? Or when tourists come in there, you know, you're not friendly to them. If they're riding on the road the wrong way, you know, do you say stop, you can't do that? Or are you more helpful with them? I'm liking hearing what Dutch people think about other Dutch people. This is a really interesting video. As a people, how did the Dutch view the Dutch? There is a tendency to think there was a tendency, I should say, to think that we're very open-minded and tolerant. Uh, and slowly and slowly there is, I think, the beginning of an understanding that that might not be the case. <laughs> that we want to believe that we're very open-minded and so you're really tolerant. Not. Some people feel that <laughs> things have changed so much in the past few years and become very much inward-looking and, and those kind of things. But I think... Um, we maybe went through a stage where we were slightly more tolerant and, and open-minded. Uh, yeah, we're like pro, fair and equal distribution of pretty much everything. So, yeah, okay. And that's also very positive. So like yeah. education is very accessible to everyone. Uh, I think participating in like everyday life is made accessible because we think that there shouldn't be such extreme oh. like uh, extreme riches and extreme poverty. So I think, <laughs> and that's also a way of being like, it's a way of fairness or looking at distribution in a fair way. Um, well, that video just ended pretty roughly, but oh my gosh, I could not believe that car. It was fanging it around the corner, mate. There was bikers coming. There was pedestrians coming. Oh my gosh. How many casualties are on the road every day by being hit by cars, hit by bikes? Oh my gosh, that street was definitely a one-way street. Well, it looked to be a one-way street. Well, the car was going this way, but the bikes were going that way. Oh my gosh, that was going to be a pile up for sure. He just fanged it around the corner, the guy in the bike. Well, guys, that was the video for today. The first video for the year, Dutch people view themselves. What do you think about what these people said in this video, guys? What are your feelings about the Dutch? Do you think they're too open-minded? Do you think they're too direct? Are you helpful for foreigners, for tourists? Guys, in the comments, let me know about your thoughts, okay? That was the video for today. If you liked it, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, and of course, remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. Cheers to that under. Take care. See you soon, guys. Bye.